What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on the uh, live stream. Got an update video here on this Thursday, uh, January 20th, 2022 date, uh, about 12.30 p.m. California time. Latest quake, a 4.8 earthquake right around the Tonga region. We have been seeing uh, some further movement along the trench here, of the Kermadec Trench and uh, areas northward so kind of keeping an eye on that area pretty closely let's go ahead and check out the movement here on the latest map from the usgs folks here shows that uh, activity around the tonga region and the fiji islands area as well they did have a 4.4 uh, earthquake yesterday just outside of tonga at 627 kilometers deep for that earthquake pretty deep uh, but a specifically right around the Tonga area looking at uh, at least two earthquakes here one uh, 4.8 just to the uh, north of the area of interest when it comes to the uh, volcanic activity uh, let's go ahead and see if we can switch over to the satellite imagery real quick here close this down and it's been uh, let's see where we got how many miles are we here? Just about 15 miles or so, it looks like, to the north of the Hunga Tonga volcano. Uh, but in realistically speaking, this is pretty close to the uh, volcano in the area southward as well. We've just been watching a pretty good amount of earthquake activity around this region. That's why I don't think we're over by a long shot. There is the pre-eruptive stage of the Hunga Tonga volcano. Of course, this is now uh, two islands two separate islands with the, uh, of course, the uh, giant uh, uh, caldera here missing. But uh, still kind of watching this area pretty closely here, folks, for the uh, activity that's uh, been ongoing. Uh, there is quite a bit of movement also taking place here north into the, uh, I want to show you guys way up here in the Alaska region. This is the uh, 2.5 and above, seeing a swarm of movement all throughout the Aleutian Trench area. Uh, pretty much stretching from the Gulf over here of Alaska all the way across the Aleutian Trench. And uh, most of this, like I said, is a uh, um, above the 2.5 threshold. Quite a few 4s in there, including a 4.5 uh, along the Aleutian Trench the subduction zone right here at 25.3 kilometers. Uh, some other deeper earthquake activity as well, including a, a 2.7 at 119 kilometers uh, inland into the uh, subduction zone. So. Uh, quite a bit of large-scale movement kicking up here in the Alaska area, so got to pay close attention to this movement here, uh, and also the area here to the west uh, where we're still watching and waiting uh, for that uh, large-scale release of movement. It's just been all too quiet in this region here uh, for some time. Today, continued quiet spell uh, down along the Mariana Trench as well. Philippine Plate and areas around the Philippine look pretty quiet not a whole lot of movement in this region of the world today. Uh, we are seeing some movement around the uh, Papua New Guinea area. That's this region right around here with a, uh, it looks like a 5.4 and also a 4.5 within this region of the world here. Also the uh, Vanuatu area getting in on a 5.4 uh, just outside that vicinity there north of Port Vila at uh, 10 kilometers movement to the west here uh, a little bit of activity around the china area and also afghanistan this movement here is from last night uh, the indian ocean did see a little bit a little bit of further movement as well with the 5.0 last night in the southwest indian ridge uh, looking over here in the south sandwich islands area uh, 5.6 and a 4.9 uh, one of these quakes there into the uh, trench area into the subduction zone there at 35 kilometers uh, working our way up north here through the south america region some activity up and down the peru chile trench uh, some deeper movement as well 4.2 at 130 kilometers and up here along the middle america trench we've seen some further movement as well with a 5.0 uh, off the coast of mexico just coming in a short time ago uh, in that area of the middle america trench a little bit further down some activity from last night 4.9 at uh, 37.6 kilometers deep one area that has kind of backed off a little bit uh, with activity is the puerto rico trench and the puerto rico and dominican republic area uh, things at least for now appear to be calming down 
compared to uh, yesterday and the day prior. We've seen a pretty good amount of swarming activity with some fours and threes kicking off in this region. Also down uh, along the Venezuela area, we've seen some movement along this plate boundary as well. Things look to be calming down for the most part, uh, for now anyway, in that region. Some activity from last night in the South Carolina region and Tennessee, Oklahoma and Texas as well. Looking at the movement along the west coast, seeing some activity really ramping up in the Nevada area northwest of Tonopah, uh, where we're starting to see a pretty good amount of swarming activity kick up once again. Uh, had a 3.7 in there. Uh, pretty, um, not, not a super large earthquake, but it's a little bit larger than uh, what we had seen there in the past couple days. So watching this region uh, as a whole, when it comes to regional movement here, the west coast looking pretty active uh, today down through Reno and the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevadas, all showing some movement as well, including the Ridgecrest region. Uh, in the Southern California area, a little bit of activity ramping up once again along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. That's going to be this lengthy fault here, secondary to the San Andreas Fault. Pretty lengthy uh, fault system, the uh, San Jacinto Fault System is. Uh, looking at uh, some earthquake activity ramping up there, but uh, nothing significant, just quite a few microquakes and some twos in the mix. Uh, and specifically around this little uh, area just south of San Jacinto. I've uh, seen a little swarm near Hemet and uh, further air area south where it also shown some increase in movement. Nothing around the Palomar Observatory uh, that we've been uh, kind of watching there, but uh, who knows, that may kick back up once again. No swarming to report around the Salton Sea. A little earthquake here just outside of uh, San Diego and Tijuana region. Uh, 0.8 near the Imperial Beach. California just off the coast of course there's fracture zones and fault systems all throughout this region of the state uh, a lot of people in uh, some highly populated regions in some danger zones out there when it comes to the uh, potential for some uh, fairly large quakes in that area of San Diego uh, let's see what looking at the Utah area seeing some further migration and movement here around the Cedar Utah area Looking at a little bit of swarming kicking up here right next to the mountain range once again in that area. And also areas up north here still seeing some movement around the Yellowstone. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone thumbnails of the overview of the park. You can see some activity kicking up. Uh, well, there, we, we did have some pretty good activity in Maple Creek yesterday. Uh, some of the activity showing up there on the graph, but uh, just about ready to drop off the, the uh, map there. Over the last few hours, things kind of calming down. Looks like a couple spotty earthquakes within this area of Yellowstone. Uh, most of the activity looks like it's in the... Uh, let's go ahead and refresh this back here. And most of it looks today, anyway, to be around the eastern part of the caldera, uh, including areas like Borehole. Uh, you can see some movement there. Some earthquake activity ramping up within the last couple hours at uh, this station here in Yellowstone. Uh, let's see here. Other than that, uh, no large-scale movement uh, to report there at Yellowstone National Park. Just kind of uh, some microquake activity kicking up uh, within that region of the state. Let's go back here to the all magnitudes and look at the rest of the Pacific Northwest. Showing some increase in activity around Mount St. Helens Volcano. You can see the uh, activity kicking up here. Looking at just a few microquakes around the vicinity of uh, Mount St. Helens, including one right smack dab on the crater area. Uh, 0.1 at 2.7 kilometers below the surface. A little bit of movement up here around Mount Rainier as well. And that looks pretty close to the uh, summit. Shows a zero uh, magnitude at 1.8 kilometers. Uh, up here around Victoria, regional earthquake activity somewhat deep within this region. We have been seeing a, a little bit of uh, movement along the Cascadia subduction zone in the Trimmer area. Go ahead and check out the Trimmer map from last night. You can see the movement uh, most specifically confined to Northern California, but the day prior we've seen some activity here a little bit further north into this region of, of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. We'll see what that uh, looks like later tonight. I do want to check out the volcanic activity there at Mount St. Helens. You can look at uh, past data and see what those earthquakes are doing on the live, on the uh, seismograph stations here. A lot of times this here is a Mount St. Helens overview. 
and there's uh, quite an array of seismographs throughout the park there. This one's uh, called Vault, Mount St. Helens area. Let's see if we can get this thing to key up at all. Maybe. Kind of acting a little slow. There we go. Got a little bit of activity there kicking up um, within the Mount St. Helens area. Actually, it looks like a little bit more. Some of these may be, uh, oh, snow and ice related. And sometimes it's hard to decipher the earthquakes from the uh, ice quakes, if you will, uh, in that region. But there's definitely a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up there at, at uh, Mount St. Helens area. Let's see what we got for the previous day. Uh, looks like a little bit of movement as well. Uh, some localized earthquake activity or uh, ice quakes, it looks like, in the uh, Mount St. Helens area. So keep an eye on the Pacific Northwest uh, and also the area along the Aleutian Trench here. This is pretty active, looking very active. Uh, kind of curious to see what this is, how this is going to play out. Uh, we're looking at renewed movement there at Kilauea Volcano. Uh, they did have a pretty significant pause in activity, uh, including the eruptive stage of Kilauea Volcano. I do want to check out and see what the latest info calls for from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory here on Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island. It's a pretty cool page to check out. Uh, this article was put out today, Thursday, January 20th. Uh, still remains at a watch and orange level. Uh, looks like the summit eruption of Kilauea Volcano within the crater continued over the last 24 hours. All recent lava activity has been confined to the crater and there are no indications of activity migrating elsewhere uh, on the volcano. So. Looks like a return of the eruption stage there at uh, Kilauea Volcano. Of course, the seismic activity there kind of confirms it within the crater area. Movement along the southeast flank ramping up pretty good too, including a little bit of microquake activity around Mauna Loa. Pretty large volcano, right? So that thing will no doubt uh, show some signs of life in the future once again. It's been a little while since it uh, kicked up. I think uh, mid-80s, early 80s. But uh, no doubt that will definitely ramp up again soon uh, with continued movement uh, kicking up there around Hawaii. So yeah, kind of watching the area, folks, here uh, around Tonga as well. As far as any uh, eruptive stages and uh, information when it comes to the volcano, it's a little bit spotty. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get any seismograph readings from that area uh, at all. And uh, so just kind of... Keep an eye on this area. There is no tsunami warning watch or advisory at the moment. And all the data buoys here in the ocean look pretty quiet for now. But uh, as mentioned, anything can change in the blink of an eye, folks. We're, we're definitely uh, kind of learning that with the uh, volcano there in Tonga. <clears throat> and I'm sure other volcanoes around the world that are uh, getting close to, uh, you know, potentially creating a similar scene. <clears throat> Looking at the space weather, let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Did have a uh, M flare kick up, M5.5. You can see it there on the chart. Pretty good size uh, flare. It was from a departing sunspot, which is now on the far side of the sun over here. Uh, let's see if we can see it maybe on this one. It's from one of these sunspots here. It has gone. It, well, we can't see it anymore. It's rotating away from us. Back behind it, Earth side. There is some activity kind of kicking up here a little bit, but nothing significant. Just a little sunspot activity. Uh, expect uh, things not to be too amplified when it comes to the solar weather over the next few days. In fact, things look calm, uh, at least for the next few nights here at the, uh, the uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast here. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Have a great day. Stay safe out there and keep your eyes open. Uh, Lucian Trench looking pretty active. And the West Coast region's all showing uh, signs of uh, increased pressure out here. So... Have a good day, folks. We will chat you a little bit later on. Peace out.